Do you dread going to work every day? Do you hold your breath every time your boss walks in the room? Maybe you finish your work day feeling like it sucked the life out of you. These are all signs of a toxic work environment or of a bad boss and indicators that it might be time for you to move on. In this video, I'm sharing seven red flags you need to pay attention to in the workplace. And hey, if you need help making a smooth transition into your next position, make sure you get your hands on the Career Advancement Toolkit today. It's an exclusive suite of resources designed to help you secure your next job offer. I'm talking templates, guides, instructions, examples, and video lessons. Let the toolkit do the heavy lifting for you. I'll place a special limited time link for you in the description below. Hey there, I am Heather from ProfessorAustin.com and I've taught hundreds of thousands of professionals from all across the globe how to build their personal brand so they can land their dream job and grow in a field they love. So if you want that same thing, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification down below so you're notified when I publish a new video or host a live training every week to help you navigate your career. Now keep in mind, most of us have bad days at work here and there, but the signs I'm gonna share with you aren't just instances of a bad day, they are key signals you need to keep your eye on. Toxic work environments take a toll on your mental and physical well-being. You might be experiencing stress, anxiety, depression, and even decreased productivity. So let's jump into the seven signs that you might be in a toxic work environment or that you might have a bad boss. The first sign, you don't have a voice. You might be in a toxic work environment if you're ridiculed or shamed for sharing your thoughts, opinions, and feedback with your management team. For example, you might be worried that your superiors will punish you for bringing up an honest concern or maybe you and your coworkers have requested improvements to certain processes and procedures, but you have all been ignored. Now, a great organization will have managers and leaders who connect and collaborate with their employees. They'll listen to employee concerns and they'll make sure that their employees feel seen. Remember, the companies who earn the best places to work title are companies where employees trust their managers. Now, the next toxic sign, which is similar to the first one, is bad communication. You need to keep your eyes on this, especially if it's coming from the leadership or management team. Team. A bad communicator is simply a bad boss. An example of this is if your superiors fail to explain expectations ahead of time. They might even fail to convey information clearly, and you might even be receiving mixed messages. A good boss will give you clear expectations for projects, deadlines, and future goals. They'll work hard to ensure you have a shared vision and passion for where the organization is going. They want their employers to get excited about the work they're doing. Keep in mind, everyone makes mistakes, and not every boss is perfect. But if bad communication is happening very regularly, it might be time to move on. Now remember, if you don't yet have access to the Career Advancement Toolkit, I'll place a special limited time link for you in the description below. Inside the toolkit, you'll find dozens of templates, video lessons, guides, instructions, and checklists to help make the process of landing your ideal job even easier. The third sign of a toxic work environment or of a bad boss is rapid turnover. Now this will vary depending on the industry and the location you're in, but if you're noticing the organization has an unusually high turnover rate with employees constantly leaving and needing to be replaced, that's probably a sign of a bad work environment. Whether employees are quitting or getting fired, it's often a sign that there's a lack of direction, little opportunity for growth, bad leadership, and even disorganization. You might even see employees disappearing overnight. If you see that happening, get out. Now to make sure you don't get in this same situation in the future, I recently published a video about red flags that might come up in a job interview. I'll place that video down below. Now the fourth sign of a toxic work environment or of a bad boss is unfair and unkind treatment. This might be a no-brainer, but unkind behavior is just not good. Think about the things that made it so hard for you to go to school when you were younger. Gossiping, teasing, hazing, bullying, and even exclusion of others. Even at a young age, you know that these things are not right, so don't put up with it as an adult. A good employer will help employees feel a sense of purpose and belonging. They won't wait for an employee review to check in and make sure things are going well. Good supervisors engage employees and get a feel for the work culture on a regular basis. Now, if you see unfair or unkind treatment among lower level employees or with an individual boss, try to report it to HR or to your superiors. Hopefully they will take action and try to fix the situation, but if management doesn't care or worse, if they participate in this kind of behavior, that's a pretty clear sign that your company culture is toxic. Hey, and do me a favor, if you're finding value in this video, be sure to click the like button down below. The YouTube algorithm loves it and it will reach more people who are trying to get out of their toxic work environments. I'd really 
really appreciate it. Now the fifth sign of a toxic work environment or of a bad boss is no boundaries. This is a very common symptom of a toxic work environment. An example of this is if you're asked to do work beyond your job description or you're expected to do more than is reasonable. Another example of bad boundaries is if your boss micromanages your day-to-day -day work schedule or if he or she tries to contact you outside of your agreed upon work hours and expects you to respond right away. Now there might be some confusion around the topic of boundaries. If you agreed to work on weekends or to respond to emails in the evening when you took the job, it doesn't mean you have a bad boss or a toxic environment. However, if you agree to a regular Monday through Friday, nine to five schedule and your boss doesn't keep his or her promises, this is a sure sign that you have no boundaries in your current work situation. And speaking of unkept promises, let's jump into our sixth sign of a toxic work environment or of a bad boss and that is manipulation. A bad boss often uses manipulation to keep their employees in line. And here's the thing, manipulation can be hard to identify. You'll know your boss is manipulative if they push blame or punishment on others, if they bribe employees to behave in a certain way, or if they threaten employees to do what they say. Here's an example of a subtle manipulation. They told you if you work overtime this weekend without getting paid, it might put your name at the top of the list for an upcoming promotion. Another example of a manipulative boss is if you take on more responsibilities with the promise that you would get a raise in a month or two. Don't count on promises like these. People who manipulate don't usually keep their promises, which leads us to the seventh sign of a toxic work environment or of a bad boss, and that is illegal behavior. Even if it's not hurting you directly, if you know about something illegally happening at your work, it's only a matter of time before it comes back to bite you and others in your place of employment. So if you see anything illegal, it's time to get out now. One thing to keep your eye on is harassment or abuse in any form, including verbal, physical, or sexual abuse. Also, beware of discrimination against you or other employees you work with. If they expect you to be complicit in any illegal behavior, like reporting false numbers to the government, this is a clear sign that your company is no good. And if you're not sure about what harassment looks like in a workplace or what discrimination legally means, study up on your local workplace laws. And don't be afraid to get law enforcement involved or to seek legal aid. Ask for the help you need to get out of a bad work environment safely and to protect others who work there too. It will be well worth it. And one final thought, even if your job isn't a toxic work environment, if you feel like your job is sucking away your energy and you hate going to work every day, it's probably time to look for a new job. You don't have to go to a job you hate every day and you definitely don't need to let your physical and mental health suffer either. I believe everyone can have a job they love where they feel valued and can do meaningful work. And to help you with this process, now is your chance to grab the Career Advancement Toolkit. Inside the toolkit, you'll find templates, video lessons, guides, instructions, and checklists to help you get your feet under you and tackle your job search full steam ahead. I'll place a special limited time link for you in the description below. Now click or tap the video right here to learn how to write a resume that lands you more interviews and better job offers. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.